Hello guys, recently I had a task to create a pivot table with belongs to many relationship with timestamps, but I didn't care about updated add timestamp and I needed to create only created add, just one field. Because typically what you would do in the pivot table migration, you would have two foreign keys and then timestamps. But what if you want to use just created add without updated add? And then I thought that could be the case not only in the pivot table, so for example, tasks table with regular eloquent model could also have only created ad. So how to do that? And in this video, I'll show you both ways, both cases. So first the pivot table, the easier case, all you need to change is instead of timestamps, call the method timestamp with created ad column name and use current at the end. And then in the model where you define that belongs to many relationship, you define not with timestamps, but with pivot, with just created ad. <clears throat> and then, as you can see, you may treat that created ad as a regular pivot table field. So, for example, you can create another relationship latest users and order by that pivot field descending. And what it allows us to do, for example, in my Tinkerwell, I've loaded this. So we have task with both relationships. And if I launch that, we have two sets of results. First, ordered and then unordered. So in the database, we have this. First task without any relationship with many to many, but second task has two users and created add. So if we call just task users, then the order is this way. But if we call latest users, then it's ordered by created add. And you can call that created add as a pivot field. So that's the case with many to many. What about regular table tasks? How to remove updated add or in fact not create updated add in the first place? In the migration, similar thing. Instead of timestamps, you create one timestamp with use current. In fact, I will show you what's under the hood. If you do have timestamps here, if we click here, the timestamps function under the hood calls timestamp with created and updated ad and also fill in the details automatically just elsewhere, not with use current here. So yeah, you use the timestamp here. And what else you need to do is in the model, you need to provide constant updated ad null. Otherwise, Laravel will try to fill an updated ad, wouldn't find it and would throw error. To understand it a bit better what's happening under the hood, it's very beneficial to read the source of the framework itself. So if you go to the model class, one of the concerns, one of the traits is has timestamps. And inside of that, there's a function called update timestamps, which automatically updates created ad and updated ad. But it's also customizable. So get updated ad call means that you can rename updated ad to whatever you want. The same as created ad. If we take a look at that function, you can name updated ad like update date or whatever. If you have, for example, database, older database, not from Laravel, maybe then you can specify a different field name. But if we get back to update timestamps, there's a check. If is null updated ad column, then that set updated ad wouldn't even happen. And then down below, there's set created ad and set updated ad with value that comes from time fresh timestamp. And inside fresh timestamp, we have date now, which by the way works with Laravel internal time zone. This is maybe important. And that comes from config app file. One of the settings is time zone by default UTC. So that created ad and updated ad are stored in UTC time zone and not in your local time zone of MySQL server on your web server. This is just a side note. And I've noticed that this video is full of side notes. So I wanted to show you how to hide updated ad. But along the way, I've shown you quite a few things about timestamps and models in general. So I hope you get the idea. You may use only created ad and do quite a lot of customizations with timestamps in general for eloquent models. I've been also talking about a lot of customizations in eloquent models in my course eloquent expert level. One of the lessons is about model properties. So you can customize tables, foreign keys, how increments work, pagination dates and stuff like that. And also customize the default stub for the model, provide casting and more things. That course is available for premium members of Laravel Daily and I will link that in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.